Hi everyone, Natasha here and around my home today I am in our main bedroom and I need to do a little bit of a quick tiny tidy. So welcome to another Tiny Tidy Tuesday and welcome to the primary bedroom. As usual for my tiny tidies, I have my favorite tool, which is my trusty timer, and I'm going to set it for 10 minutes today. I just have a couple of things I'm going to put away. So there we have 10 minutes on the timer, and if you want to join along, you can hop over to a space in your home that needs a little bit of a tidy up. As you can see, I have a couple of things that have collected on my little chair in the nook here. So I'm going to put those items of clothing away and then I want to take a look down in my pamper basket that's under the little stool next to my chair and we'll see what's in my pamper basket because I haven't looked in there in a while and I think it's time to tidy that up as well. So let's get to decluttering and putting away. Today's video is part of a fun collab hosted by Sunday Dawn over at The Helpful Home. So be sure to check the description and you'll see the playlist for the whole set of videos this week as well as Sunday Dawn's channel and you can check them both out. So these items were from a load of laundry the other day and they made it as far as my chair and I got all the other items from the load of laundry put away except for these. It looks like I need to get some hangers. I have been really enjoying being a part of the collaboration of all the lovely ladies who are doing their Tiny Tidy Tuesday videos each week. It's been a great way for me to have some accountability and has boosted my decluttering and tidying up each week. So be sure to check out that playlist because it's really fun for me to go back and see what everyone did this week as well. And this is one of those things that I told myself I would do it right away the next morning and now it's been several days and I still haven't put them away. And I think I just have a couple more pairs of pants. Actually, just one more pair of pants and that can go right in there with my yoga pants. And I hadn't even realized, but this is a dress of my daughter. So this goes in her room. Now let's take a closer look at my pamper basket. Okay, so this little chair is sort of my reading corner and a little space that I like to keep my pamper basket in case I just want to sit and relax for a little bit. I have this lovely stool, which I know does not look like much, but it came from my great grandmother's house and I've had it since college. And I always think, well, someday maybe I'll reupholster it, but for now, here it sits. And then this is just a fancy shoe box that I think came from Michael's, but in here is where I keep a lot of my just sort of special, you know, fun things. So I have a couple of different foot rollers. If I had a long day and want to sit and roll my feet, I could do that. So those are fine staying in there. Oh, I have another one. Apparently I have a nice collection of those. All right, so this is a face mask. And so is this. And I think that I'm ready to move these into my bathroom because they're in here and I'm forgetting to use them. So I'm gonna relocate those. That is a pumpkin face mask from Jordan Essentials. And this is one we no longer carry. It was like a holiday special called Very Scary. So that is something I need to use up. And this was some of our Shea Body Butter and I had added the Resistance Essential Oil to it. So I'm gonna keep that in there. That's something I like having. I just have a CD back from my yoga teaching days, a nice little birthday card from my mom. Sometimes it's just a nice little thing to uh, read and get a little warm, fuzzy feeling. A pair of fluffy socks. So if I'm going to do a magnesium foot treatment, then I'll get out my fluffy socks and a bookmark in case I need that for a book I'm reading. And this looks like a plastic bag that would have been for one of my magnesium foot treatments, but I'm wondering if I have, oh, hold that thought. That's what I thought. This is a little bit of something extra special if you need a treat. And I just hide it in this container because then my daughter doesn't know it's there. So apparently I have lots of fluffy socks. I have another pair of Jordan Essentials fluffy socks and another pair. So plenty of socks, but that's fine. I'm just going to leave those in there. This is another little massager, which is nice if you have like sore legs and arms, that kind of thing. Um, this is a sock that has, what is that called? Reflexology. So this has a little reflexology on it. So sometimes I'll use that. 
just to remind myself of what areas can help with tension. And I think that's just a tissue from doing my nails. So that can go in the trash. Then, aha, here's the other bag. So anyway, what I was saying is if I'm gonna do a magnesium foot treatment on my feet, then maybe after the shower, I'll put on my magnesium peppermint foot lotion from Jordan Essentials. And I know it sounds weird, but you put your feet in the bag with all the lotion on and then put on a pair of socks over your foot with the bag around it. And then you just sit like that for a while, maybe 15 minutes, and it just really lets your body soak up all that good magnesium and the moisturizing lotion and the peppermint, and it feels amazing. And so when you take off the bags and take off the socks, your feet are wonderful. And then I have a cuticle stick, so this we no longer carry. So this is one of my last couple of cuticle sticks from Jordan Essentials, but that's something else. If I'm gonna sit here and read, then I can just massage that into my cuticles. And I think this floss stick was probably supposed to head to the trash and made it there for some reason. So that's everything that was in my pamper basket. I think I'm gonna take this to the trash can and just dump out a little bit of the dust that's in there. And then I am gonna go grab my magnesium lotion and put that in here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else, maybe a nail file. I feel like there's a couple things missing, so I'll be right back. Okay, and let's see, we have just a few minutes, a couple minutes left. Oh, I think I made it go off sooner because I touched it. But anyway, we're gonna set this back up so that my pamper basket is ready to go. So I've got my basket there. I'm just going to fold up these bags and have those ready to go. All right, so I've got my peppermint magnesium lotion and I'm gonna put my bags right next to it. And you can just use, you know, a zip tie bag or a lunch bag or a bread bag, whatever you've got around. Um, my fluffy socks, I'll just tuck those next to it. So I've got my little assortment of fluffy socks. I have my treats, so I'll just drop those in there. Like I said, I'm gonna relocate my face mask to the bathroom to remind me to use those. And I have my CD, my book, my bookmark, not my book, my CD, my card, my bookmark, my little reflexology sock. So I'm gonna just tuck those down in there. I've got my cuticle stick. And let me see, this feels kind of light. So, oh, I still have a little bit of the shea butter. That's that good Jordan Essential shea butter with the Resistance Essential Oil Blend. So I'll tuck that down in there. And then I think I can put all of these. I don't know that I'm gonna keep this big one in there. I feel like that might just sit off to the side for a second and see, but maybe it'll fit in there. Let's try it. I think if I have this there, just really tall, isn't it? Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna relocate this. This is something my daughter thinks is fun to play with. So I may put this in the living room and that way if we're sitting watching TV, one of us could be using that. My husband and I are both on our feet a lot during the day. So it's nice to have something like that where you can just sort of let your feet relax, but then I'll have these smaller ones which I could use for rolling my feet too, especially if I've got my feet soaking in that magnesium. I've just got all kinds of ways to pamper myself. I've got that little reflexology sock. And then let me go grab my um, nail file because that was something I thought of when I was sitting here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take these two things to their new home, so I'll be right back. Okay, and I have a fun nail file that'll just tuck in alongside there as well. And so now my pamper basket is ready to go, all freshened up and ready for some more pampering. And the next time I wanna sit here and read and just let myself relax and enjoy a little downtime, I'll be all set. So thanks for joining me today for another Tiny Tidy Tuesday. I hope that you grabbed your favorite tools and did a little tidying up in an area of your home. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check the description where I'll have the playlist and all of the ladies who are doing their Tiny Tidy Tuesday project will be sharing their videos there today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button on your way out. I always appreciate you watching and commenting and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.